to my channel. My name is Lucille from Club Artistry Heaven. Today we're going to look and see what Droptober was all about. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a countdown timer over here of days left to see what will be dropped by Canva um, with new releases and features that were coming up. So the, the app that I want to look at today is called uh, Dream Lab, which is new. It's amazing. I love it because I use it daily in my journey, but just to have another option is absolutely awesome. So um, I'll just click on see what's available. What's, uh, what was it? See the latest launches. So click on it. It will take you to this screen. The very first um, release you'll see here is called Dream Lab. So there are others which I will be checking out and making videos on. Uh, I've just kind of browsed through it briefly. Um, let me hide this. So these are all the new goodies for us available um, in Canva. I'm also looking forward to see what's going on here, Disney. Um, you know, especially with copyright laws, we know how strict Disney is and how they come after um, print on demand sellers like on Etsy and other places where people use the, the content. So I don't know what this is about. Maybe you guys do. If you do, please drop a comment, but I'm going to check it out at, in, an, in another video. Anyway, so let's focus on Dream Lab. Ooh, I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is the um, the work screen or whatever. Uh, this is where you would, it's basically like an AI generated uh, text to image software, similar like Midjourney, Dali 3, etc. Um, so there is the magic media which is available um which kind of does the same thing but i've never liked realistic images you'll see here uh if we just go back it's it's focusing on photo realistic images now um let's go here let's go just create something quickly So the reason why I got excited about Dream Lab is if you go to Magic Media, so because a lot of you will say, ah, oh, Lucille, you're late to the party. There is a image generator. Yes, I know I create lots of uh, junk journals through this, junk journal pages. I love it. It works for me. Um, but photorealistic images never really um, worked for me. It was, never worked that well. Uh, photo... Uh, hyper realistic, let's say hyper so day spelled incorrectly. So I'll just show you quickly. The difference between Magic Media's image generator and Dream Lab. Can you see this doesn't look photorealistic to me? And what was my setting? I haven't said anything, but I've instructed it as a realistic image. It doesn't give me that. Um, see all. I've done this before. I just wanted to demonstrate to you why I'm excited about Dream Lab. Um, if I look at the others, also, it's not photorealistic. Um, in Midjourney, you can do all of this. You can do anything. You can do photorealistic. You can do watercolor. You can do um, a digital airbrush style. There's, there's a lot that you can do in Midjourney. And photorealism is, um, I think, what Midjourney is the best in okay so now we can take the same prompt i've actually yeah the, here's the example <laughs> i've actually done it earlier look at the uh using a design look at the quality of this so it looks a lot more real um i just don't like 
um, so we did my <laughs> so it opens on the same page let's see that's weird so and it doesn't save here let's go back try to do that so how do i let's go here um i need to figure out how i can like as i've done here like they've got the four and you can immediately pull it in and it's now in your library so if you even close this it would be in your library because you've pulled it over it seems like with dream lab like if i click on it download different story which is not what i want to do but also it doesn't open like in a separate image it's like a separate um browser just mm, so that's something maybe they need to work on anyway uh, if we look at the quality it looks a lot better than what uh, magic media look how beautiful is that <laughs> uh, let's look at another um example let's go so this is just a little bit weird because it's not i'd like it to be open and then you know click on my image work in it in a new design but not i suppose i can do can i do this no can i do this maybe open no nothing here can't open in another url it's fine let's look at another one that's for them to sort out um uh, page covers uh, sun with um page umbrellas uh things Oops, and a beach or image shows uh, a wonderful depicts a wonderful beach day with um, lots of happiness and joy okay let's just go with that Let's see what it comes up with. So the app of the day is called Dream Lab. <laughs> um, yes, I was thinking about this because they're very strict with children. So uh, I was, yeah, expecting a block. <laughs> I just don't like this. Um, the fact that I, let's go edit. Even, even editing it, I need the others here so that I can see. And the app doesn't pop up here on the side. Yes. Do, 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 do. See, normally the app... Okay. So that's the image. Super realistic. Beach ball, fuzzy drinks, happy faces, adults and kids, umbrellas. Um... Um, I think it's not bad. Um, love it. So, thought I'll just share with you. Uh, let me know or share your designs with me. Let me know how you find it. And um, keep in mind, these uh, it's the same with Magic Media. You get 500 uh, free credits tokens a month. So, you get another 500 just for images. So, if you want to split your projects, and use canvas image generator for for certain projects you use the, the dream lab if you want to use more um clip art and uh, watercolor designs and stickers then and and especially junk journal pages then mag, uh, magic media is your go-to anyway thought i'll share with you happy happy wednesday um thank you for watching please subscribe like and drop in the comment section any particular videos that you need help with thank you so much